Uh, so Safari is my guest today. What's happening? First of all, are you okay? Um, I just. Oh man. I just got robbed at gunpoint. What do you mean just now? Just like right now? A couple, a couple hours ago, I just got robbed. Like two dudes with guns just ran up on me. Me face down on the floor with a gun to my head. It just took everything. Where did this happen? <sighs> Jersey. Are you okay? Do you want to talk about this or is that? It is what it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they took everything. So, the police, they're working on it. They just told me not to really say too much until they figure the things out. But, um,. It just happened a couple hours ago. I'm so sorry, man. Thank yeah. God you're okay. Where were you? At a club or something? Nah. You said it was today or last night? This is like, um, like three in the morning. Okay. Yeah. So what? Ha- you can't say what happened. You can't talk about it. Yeah, it's just I can't really give details because you know the police are still doing what they gotta do, but it's just you know. Why, where was your pe- where don't you like cuz you you said you was at the club or you left for No, I had left. I wasn't like I wasn't in, you know, when I was there, I was with my security I had like about 30 people and all that, but then, you know, when everything is done and all that, I'm like, "All right, it's cool. Everybody y'all peace out." And then it just caught me it just caught me by myself. You know, it was me and my um I was with one other person. I was with my chef. And um I got out of my car. As soon as I got out of my car, they just came out of nowhere and just backed out on us. Jesus Christ. Were you, wor- like, were you, clearly but, you're upset, so clearly Yeah, like, I've bad. never, I've never had a gun put to my face, and it's like, I don't know who the hell these people were. I don't know where it's coming from. Isn't it crazy but, that we, so I, I just, I don't know why I would think, because the worlds we live in sometimes, it's like, you don't realize that something, how traumatic. Something, yeah, because Because people talk like, about being robbed all the time, like, it's no big deal, but, like, People don't talk about how traumatic it is to actually think you're... Somebody has a gun in your face. Clearly, you have a moment where you think your life is finished yeah. and how traumatic that could be. And my uncle just got killed for a robbery. Yeah, so no, I'm so sorry about that. The last thing I'm thinking is, you know, what my mother would have to go through if she was to get that call. Jesus. Yeah. And what do you do? So what do you do? You call the cops? Yeah, like, you know, I was... I was laid out on the floor, and then I just waited till I just knew there was nobody standing over me anymore, and then I just got up and ran. Then um, I didn't have my phone. Mm -hmm. I couldn't call the cops. It took everything. And then um, some people, they called the cops. Thank God it wasn't worse. Yeah, and that's what I was thinking, too. I'm just like, damn, I'm like, this guy's about to shoot me. You know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like. I got security who be having guns, but I don't ever be, you know, I'm not the type of person to walk around and I don't do the illegal gun nonsense at all, you know what I'm saying? So it's just crazy. I'm like, everything is on the up and up for me. Mm-hmm. And people see that and they're just so jealous and envious. And, you know, and it got, it got to be somebody who, who know me, who's close to me. I was going to ask you that if it's somebody who knows it's, you. I'm just, I'm still like in shock. Like, yeah, you. Ha- I can tell. What are you going to do from here? Is there somebody that's going to... I guess if there was a police report, Well, right? the police, they're definitely, they're definitely going hard right now. I, I'll give them that. But, you know, I'm just going to, um, just as far as my security and all that, I just need to always, you know, have armed security. Yeah. Because it's not even about having the big, strong muscle security, man. These dudes out here is with guns. You know what I'm saying? They see a $50,000 watch and all that, like, they want it. You Chains. Do you think this would change how you move? I'm not gonna lie. Like it's just it's 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 like traumatizing. Like it's it just keeps re- replaying. So. Oh man, I'm so sorry. I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, what, what happened with your uncle is also triggering something besides just even the robbery itself. Mm-hmm. So you need to have you need you gonna have to deal with this like this ain't. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like with what I deal with day to day, and just as far as like me working and 
everything that I do is for me. I can't even take days off. I can't say, oh, nah, I'm not taking this flight to go here. Like, I got contracts to be places Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, every week for, like, the next few months. So it's like, I can't really be like, all right, nah. You know, people, they don't, they don't understand. They're not like, all right, cool, we sympathize. Nah. Wanna, they're going to want to file lawsuits and do all of that and say, all right, well, hey, you breached the contract. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I still got to do what I got to do. So, Farby, this is not what I expected today. I was like, oh, finally, so we're going to sit down. I know, right? I was, I was so excited, too. I'm like, damn, I finally get to sit with Angie, and oh, I'm so this, sorry. Is, this, this is the day it happens, you know? It's, but, it's real life, though, right? It's what, you know. But that's what I'm saying. They were like, yo, you want to, like, not do it? And I'm like... My life is like it's out there, you know what I'm saying? Your life is a reality show kind of at this point it's, too. People are invested like, like they know you, they know you, you know. Yeah. The stuff is it's like out of a movie, I swear. It's like it's just always something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they're definitely going to catch whoever did it. Yeah. 100%. And what is your stance on like, you know, some people be like when things like that happen, don't go to police or whatever. Listen, man, I'm a, I'm a I'm a grown ass man. Yeah. You 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 put a gun to my face. You took my. I'm not doing all that nonsense. You did it. Like you know, what I'm saying like yeah. I'm not I'm not I'm not no kid. Right. Street code, street rules. What's that gonna do? It gets you gets you killed. It's not gonna do nothing for me. Mm. Like the law is the law. I'm a, like I'm a good dude. I don't go out here setting people up. I don't do none of that nonsense. You know what I'm saying? So you the one who did it. You shouldn't have did it. Mm-hmm. What if it's people you know? What if you find out it is people you know? It's going to be really good for me to know that I know who it is. Mm -hmm. But I definitely feel like it's somebody that I do know who has something to do with it. Are you loose with who you have around you? Are you not? You know what I mean? I used to be, but I feel like, I feel like with like, um, how, like just now I'm very, you know what I'm saying? I don't be really just having anybody around me. Mm -hmm. I'm very, like, tight since I moved back to New York. Like, before, like, back in the day, I used to be going places and having 75 people with me and not knowing who all these people are, you know what I'm saying? But now it's like, even if I do have a lot of people, I know exactly mm -hmm. who's around me. And most of the time, it's family. You're going to tighten up for real after this. And it's messed up. People are always like, I'm so personal, I'm so humble when they meet me places and all that. But then it's like, when stuff like this happen, it's like, I don't trust nobody. You know what I'm saying? You weren't hurt at all. You didn't get like banged up. No, nah, they didn't. They didn't Such physically enough. do nothing. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying, just jabs like that. Ugh. Didn't they? Um, I know I keep going back to your uncle because I think that's a big part of why it's affecting you so bad. You know what I'm saying? That's like, what I. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. Didn't they catch or something happen in that case too? Yeah. Yeah, they caught the um two guys and it's my cousin's ex-husband. And one of his people, you know what I'm saying? So that's who they got in custody. I can't imagine what that's like. And so that doesn't even give you closure, right? Because it's like more <sighs> yeah, drama. Safari, I'm sorry you're going through this, man. It's terrible. I'll, I'll get through it. Have you slept I at all? No. Yeah, I could tell. <laughs> yeah. I could tell. You probably need to get some sleep too. That's for sure. I'm gonna I'm a sleep after this. I was in the precinct all night, so you know. Oh, you just came here from the precinct? Yeah. Wow. They didn't take your coat. Nah. Probably too big to carry. It's also a flashy coat. It's not like they could be running around, the, running down the street with that coat and not get pointed I, out. I, I, I saw the footage too, though. It's like I, I watched it. You know what I'm saying? I seen everything, and it's just like you just see me in my big red coat. Laid out. So what happens now? <clears throat> um, I gotta keep doing what I gotta do. I can't like I feel like the devil is trying to really just ruin whatever great is about to happen for me because I feel like you know everything for me has just really been going up mm -hmm. and up. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. um, I think that's all that is. It's just the devil just trying to throw a wrench. You seem to have like um, a real strong work ethic. You know what I'm saying? Like you. That's funny. That's crazy. You see that? Why? I don't know. You know, I feel like sometimes I work so much that 
sometimes it can seem normal to people or people don't even realize it's happening or I've worked so much that I don't even nah, realize. Nah, I can how... tell. I can totally tell. It's a couple things. So first of all, it's like, it's weird because my first impression of you, I didn't know you. I know. You always say that. <laughs> no, I really didn't. I didn't know you. I, so my impression, all I had was from what, I think the time I interviewed Nikki and she got, and she was emotional because you had just broke up. That's yeah. like my, int- that's my and connection then, to you. So look, I'm always we, looking at you like that guy. And we both doing the same thing. <laughs> she, she was here crying. I'm sitting here crying. <laughs> what is that? I'm sorry. I just felt my fault. Neither time, by the way. I just want to say for the record. <laughs> but that was like, so that was, that's who I thought of you as. Like, you were the guy that was, she was crying in, in the studio. But then, I, you know, I see your work ethic. I see you around. I got to, I see you, I met you a couple of times. And you always I just I always see... see you in such vague passing, though. I'm like, yo, I never, ever get to really see you and speak to you. Yeah. Well, every time it's very, it's quick. It's yeah. Like, just like a pad. But you always seem like you're on it. And you always are gracious and nice to everybody. And you talk to everybody. And you just, you know, you have good energy. Like, I could tell. But anyway, I see. I say all that to say... That you've been out here working, like, it's noticeable. You know what I mean? Yeah, because I could just, I feel like I can't give up. It don't make no sense to just be where I'm at, you know. I feel like I have some influence and to just be half-assing it, you know. And you seem to be having fun, too. Up until, of course, today is not your best day, but. <laughs> yeah. Today's not your favorite day. I get it. Yeah. The day you want to come see me. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, I, I didn't <laughs> even get to, like. You was going to come. Your, your come outfit on, was going to be crazy I'll... today. <laughs> I know. Yo, I Did didn't you get have to... an outfit laid out today? <laughs> I'm like, man, I was gonna. I had a different fur and everything, and then like when this happened, I'm like, what was the fur? Tell me the fur. It was just, it was just like a different, colorful one, but it was just one that no one's ever seen before. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. I didn't say nothing about it yet either. I, I can't. I don't even have my phones to even. To even say anything, I don't know no numbers. Uh, or I'm so sorry that happened to you, man. So what did they take? Everything. Watch. Everything, man. I had like at least, I had at least like 175 on me. They what took, do you mean in jewelry? Wow. It took everything. Are you gonna re up on that? Or are you just gonna be low, lower key? I ain't gonna lie, man. I feel like that me not re up. With like saying that they won, mm. you know what I'm saying. But luckily, thank God I had it insured. You know what I'm saying. I was saying? gonna ask you, yeah. Good. Oh, Safari. So, so we're gonna have to like regroup and do it like another day. And you're gonna come in and we're gonna do all fun stuff on a better day. You're gonna come in with all your new jewelry, <laughs> and you're gonna come in with your new colorful fur. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna start mm. this thing again from scratch. I do. Right. I do appreciate that you still showed up today. I mean, even that alone says a lot that you went through all that I don't, and still showed up well, today. I don't like to cancel. That's another thing with me. Mm-hmm. Like, if I cancel something, it bothers me. It does. I feel horrible. I'll be like, yo, I cannot believe. I, no. Yeah. I don't like being late, and I don't like canceling. But you haven't even been home yet or slept yet. It's not good. It's not healthy. But still, like, come on. Who has Angie Martinez and doesn't show up? I canceled on you last week because I wasn't feeling well. I did hear about that. (laughs) I was like, you know what? (laughs) Take it from me. Take a a page from my book. I was like, I was excited to meet you and sit with you, really, but I I wasn't feeling well. And I was like, I don't want to do that and then be here. And so I just took. And then I come in and I'm not feeling well. I I thought, I was like, man, maybe she. First of all, I didn't. Maybe this was never meant to happen. I didn't. (laughs) Maybe we should. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't believe it was gonna really happen or not. I'm like, she canceled. I'm like, damn. And this well, thing no. happened today. I'm like, bro. I'm like, why is the devil like? It's the devil trying to stop some sort of greatness. <laughs> Something going on here. We gotta figure that out. <laughs> yeah, I feel. I feel better now, though. Oh, good. Me too. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. I hope. I hope everything works out and you have some peace with that. And yeah, you think you'll get your jewelry back? Is that possible? Does that happen often? Um, we don't know. You know, they use it as evidence. So mm-hmm. I don't know how long that takes. What did you have? You had like a big. I had two big joints. Yeah. The heaviest thing was my AP. The AP was like. Flooded. S- flooded. Mm-hmm. Sixty. Crazy pinky ring. It was like fifteen. I had these bracelets. I mean, that's dangerous to be out in the streets with all of that on, too. You know that. And you know what? Too, I was thinking about it. Too, I said, Yo, why did I have all of that? Why did I have all of that on? Why did you have all that on with no security with you? I know you had security. Did you have security at all? Or you had, your, like, your peoples? When They got the drop on me, you know what I'm saying? It's like when somebody comes out of you on nowhere with a gun, it's like you got the drop. Mm-hmm. 
can't move. You can't make a move. The slightest move, boom. It wasn't like you just holding it like this. You holding it with your hand on the. Trigger. You wasn't trying to be a tough guy either, right? You wasn't Come like. Oh man, I got. I'm like, I'm like. There's no. I'm not trying to do nothing. Like you have a gun in my face. Like what the hell am I gonna do? Do some Jackie Chan, Chris Tucker, Rush no. Hour three type. <laughs> nah. Well, thank guess, God you're okay, man. Thank God it wasn't yeah, worse because it could have been worse. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what do we need to look out for? I know singles out. I know you're going to be know. doing these shows. I mean, you're here. You might as well promote. You came here. <laughs> you, fucking, you might as well tell people what they need. You might as <laughs> The single 100 is out. You know, mm -hmm. I'm working on that, um, pushing that. And I'm just working on, um, you know, I'm going to be making a, a full project, but I'm not going to say, all right, boom, here's my new album. I'm not dropping a project until it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, you got to have that lead up How much it. pressure is that for you? I know, right? What, do you, what does that project sound like? What is that? It's a big deal. I mean, what is it? I'm I'm not worried about that part. I feel like when it comes to making music, I feel like I'm nice. Okay. And I have fun doing it. So, I like my following, you know, West Indian. All of the people I'm from, yard and abroad, mm -hmm. support what we do. Yeah. I like your, you posted something about making up West Indian men the other day. What? The, <laughs> Was the, it on Instagram? The, where they said that uh, Jamaican men have the most powerful penises in the world. They said they're known to have the like, <laughs> hey, I don't know where that was a real like news article, you know. I don't know why <laughs> I don't know why I had a white a man. news article from where though? The Star magazine. Uh-huh. Yeah. Star magazine is not a credible news source. Hey, listen, it's a Jamaican news I'm source. I'm not judging whether the story is true or not. I'm just saying it's not a credible news source. Sorry. Well, they <laughs> It seemed real. <laughs> From your point of reference? Yes. <laughs> Safari, I did think, before I knew you, I did think you might have leaked your own photos. Nah. No, not true. Nah. I thought I judged wrong. Yeah, I, Yo, my nieces follow me. My mom, anything that has to do with me, my mother knows before I know. My mother is outrageous. What do you mean? My mother, yo, my mother. I don't know if she gets Google alerts or what. My mother knows everything. My sister. So you were mortified then? You weren't yes, part of it. Yes, I wasn't like, yeah, that's not something. I'm, that definitely wasn't a part of no scam or or, or publicity stunt. Or publicity stunt, because I wouldn't have dropped hundred without the video. Yeah. I wanted to drop hundred with the video, but then when that happened, I'm like, yo, let me just drop this song, so I could at least have something to talk about instead of be talking about meats all day. <laughs> so, <laughs> how do you resp how do you react when that hits the streets? Like what is the what happens? You Yo. home, do you get a call? I mean is it is your mom calling cuz she goop she sort My mother is like, "Hey, um you, you you trying to be a porn star now?" I'm like, "What?" So your mother actually was the one who told you? She, well, she was one of the texts. It was just was a whole bunch, and I really didn't know what was going on because I was shooting the video for 100 when it happened. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, that was one of the texts. And I'm like, yo, what is, like, what? And then somebody was like, yo, you don't know what's going on? I'm like, look, I'm in a good mood right now. <laughs> I don't even want to know what's going on. Let me finish shooting my video. And then I found out, like, the next morning. And my booking, like, I don't know what, that made people want to book me so much more. No, there's something to that. It gives you, yeah, we were here. I was here with Ty Boogie. Ty, you did a show with Ty Boogie, right? We, um, he did. A, he was DJing a club or something that you were out. I think it was like the CA. Uh, mm, uh, the what is the CIAA? The CIAA. Thank you. Yo. So I'm he glad. was doing that show with you, and he was excited about the news because he knew that the party was going to be popping Yo. right after the pictures came out. And I it thought, was, is that a thing? You know what? Because that was like the first time I went out. I, I had to like walk through this area. <laughs> Yo, I got mobbed. It was insane. Safari. It was like thousands, like, it was th I, whatever the big mall or whatever that thing was called. I had to walk through it to come out of my event. Yo, so I you felt the difference? I, night I, and day. I was like, yo, I can't believe I thought I was known before. So I, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I thought I was famous before. I'm like, when that, I said, oh, nah. I said, wow, I was a nobody. Like, what the hell was it? I wasn't doing nothing in these streets. Uh, so are you okay with it? Or you're like, what, how are you, where are you with it now? It is what it is? Like, luckily, I, like, I don't have a girlfriend or nothing. 
and who would be like, yo, where these came from? Like, you know, I, I really... You know where they came from, right? I really don't know where they came from. That's what the crazy part. What do you mean you part. don't know what they... Are they something you sent to somebody, right? It has to be. I think... You know, I, I think somebody was sending it to, like, their friends or makeup artists on some, like, yo, look, that type of joint. But the, whoever actually took oh, the know. photo... It was, I, it are was you me. sending so many of these to... that You don't even know who you sent that to? Because... You, Somebody had to receive that original photo. I took it. Or you took it, right? Yeah, uh-huh. And then it went where? Um, you send that to multiple people, or is there just one nah, person nah, that nah. gets that? Uh, it was. Are you okay? <laughs> there was one person who I sent it to, and I know that that person. I don't know if they sent it, but I know that the person who's showing it. Because I remember somebody came up to me and said. Oh wow, Mr. Safari! I'm like, what? And it was a, it was a guy who said it to me. I'm like, yo, what the hell is like? It was a makeup artist. So you know somebody showed it to him. Yes. But my question to you: This is what I'm trying to wrap my brain around. When you take a photo like this, your mm-hmm. purpose of taking the photo is to what? Send be, it to one individual. No, no, no. It wasn't to send it to myself. First of all, I'd be in the gym, so. You, I gotta check to see if my body is changing. Oh, so and it wasn't for that purpose. Yeah, like you know, you know, you got the V, the pelvic V. Uh-huh. So I wanted to see if my V was popping. Got it. So just happened that the whole thing got right because <laughs> <laughs> you didn't just shoot the V. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. I just was like, yo, let me just, you know, what I'm saying. Uh huh. <laughs> so has any porn companies reached out to you after? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A sex toy company. Mm-hmm. Um, and some some porn star I don't know what her name was some porn star was talking about they want to give me 50,000 to do a movie 50,000 I was like what I was like what is, what if she said they want to give you 50 million to do a movie I would get my safari coconut oil <laughs> rub it all over myself do a bunch of push ups and sit ups and say um, where is the address for this scene sir <laughs> <laughs> so where is your price then? Because it ain't fifty thousand, and it and it could be five hundred million. So what is there a real price? Like what would it cost to do a movie? Yeah, you might as well put it out because the porn people might be watching. <laughs> if you would do five hundred million, right? <laughs> that means there's a price. What you think? What you think I should ask for? It's like if I was managing you? Yeah. Okay. Well, because okay. Well, here's what Why I would you, tell you. Are you a manager? I, feel I like- could be. It's too much. To, it's no, but I do help people sometimes. We need to add her on the team. I ha- I am a Capricorn. I'm a Capricorn. Hold on. What what month is that? And I and I like to help. And so I so I have people that I help, but I just do it because I like to. Not My because mother's January first. She's a Capricorn. Yeah. Oh, see. He's a I would Capricorn. like her. You're a Capricorn. Like I have all January people around me. I get along with them. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. So who's your manager? Um, <clears throat> right now. I just have a team. I don't really you have, have a like team. a lot of management. Oh, you so you're trying to put saying? me on the team? Yeah, we definitely got space for Here's you. Here's what we I got will. Here. You got Gambino. I got Monisha. You got Big D, Angie. Hey, Big D. Hey. <laughs> so here's what I would advise you. Because hmm. once you go down that road, you've went down that road. I know, right? But then again, your penis is already all over the internet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so... I would say if you were willing to go down that road and you, you have to really wrap your brain around that and you really have to be able to like mm. be comfortable because people will only be as comfortable as you let them be. So mm. I would say if you're going to go down that road, a number that I would think you should be comfortable with would probably be like, because it has to be change your life money, right? It can't be like new fur money. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It new has fur to be, money. That's what, like that's already there. You know what I'm saying? The so, fur coat money's already there. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. it has to be like... Ten mil. Ten million. Ten million will get me my nice house in Jamaica. Have me be able to leave America for a while. Won't have to worry about. Um, so you would consider for ten million. We yeah. Well, you're my manager. You just said it. <laughs> <laughs> I just said that as your manager. So far, I'm looking at your career. Like that would be a nice number. Yeah, but you know, also too. I. I but I, morally, then you have to make that decision. I can't make that decision. I'm not even gonna you. lie. I wouldn't even like want to do that because it's like. No, even though I'm single, no matter what, I still I want to have a girlfriend. I want to be in a relationship. I want to have a yeah. wife and kids. And it's like a girl ain't gonna want to be with a dude. It's like yo, this guy just went and sh- 
shot this movie in. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, it it's does. Like, there is something. You're right. It's going to bring stigma. It's going to bring me a different type of, of, of women. You know what I'm saying? And I'd rather, you know, have, I want to get wifed up one day. I mean, I want to wife something up one day. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Do you joke with that line? Is that a line that you're comfortable with? What? Wifing. What did you say? You wanted to get wifed up. That's yeah, from that, that, that's that from came out wrong. Line. All right, anyway. So, uh, <laughs> that's a real line. So far, it's a real thing. No, you should shout out all my ball niggas, wife and niggas. I know yeah. what you're talking about. <laughs> that's what I'm wondering if that was, you know. I know that song. You know, you've heard it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what type of girl is she then? What is she? Is she, you know what I mean? Is she. That, that I want? Yeah. Yo, I want. Is she a boss? Is she uh, like. I want a, an escape. Uh, I want someone who is that when I'm with them, I feel like I'm not in the business. Mm-hmm. I feel like someone's not trying to take pictures and video and because they're so excited to be around me. I want to feel like it's real. Like You know what I'm saying? You know, I ask me for nothing. I like girls who don't ask me for nothing because I, <laughs> I have a complex with being used. Yeah, I get so that. So when I meet somebody, you have to show me that you you don't want nothing from me. You don't want money. You don't want me to buy you nothing. Show me that you really like me, and you know what I'm saying. So, like, if I'm gonna do something for you, it's because I want to do it out the goodness of my heart. But don't ask me for nothing. Cause I, yeah, you just cut a whole bunch right out. Yo, come on, <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's not whole, it's not fair. The whole batch right especially out of like the equation. If, especially no, I feel if, that. if you a newbie and I don't like, come on, you gotta show me you got something to bring to the table. I thought the juju thing was cute. I thought that that was she's she, you guys were gonna be his thing. Juju, but juju's juju's never my girlfriend. Everyone thinks that. Oh, I know, I, but you, it felt but like something was bubbling. It it's because like it's because we look we look nice together because we're both brown. You were both in relationship, public relationships, and you were both single. Yeah, you had a nice little chemistry. Well, it was on TV. Yeah, could have played out on TV. Could have had your own spinoff as your manager. I think. but but look, I but that's what I'm saying. But see, play. me and Juju, we you know people, we were never together. But me and her were definitely we we're, we're definitely friends. She's a Juju. She's she. Why not then? She's an amazing person. Like Juju, so, why not not attracted Juju, to each other? Juju was at the precinct. Juju she was. Up, oh wow. You know what I'm saying so. See, that's the type of chick then, right? That's what you're saying. That's yeah, but I I don't feel like I'm ready for it though. Okay. okay. I just don't feel like I'm ready. That's very that's close when somebody shows up at the precinct. That's like a that's the that's your emergency dial number then. Yeah. Well, hey, it was I was coming from Juju's birthday party. Oh, got it. So she had heard what happened. Yeah. Came down, mm-hmm. shot down there. Yeah. And you here you are. And you didn't cancel. And you might have got yourself a porn movie out of this, too. You know how much jewelry you could buy with porn money? <laughs> <laughs> you funny. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. <laughs> you know how much jewelry you porn money. <laughs> you can. It's, it's, it's more money there than the music business. That's porn what I'm saying. Porn is a billion-dollar industry. You've been researching. I just always hear people say it. I yeah. believe it. Yeah, I know. Because <laughs> there's way more subscribers to Pornhub mm-hmm. than there are to iTunes. Is that true? Is that a real number? Or you just made that Look up? it up. Look it Go- up. I see you over there Googling. Look it up. Can we get confirmation if that's a real number? If that's a real number, the management team's going to have to regroup. <laughs> <laughs> and I need, a, I need a piece on that. Yo, that's crazy how I get along so well with people who are born in January. Is that right? My mother's January 1st. Like him. What are you? What are you? What sign? I'm a cancer. 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 Yes. July 4th. Like uh, when, you know, I was down and out and I had nothing, the people who stuck by my side were all them January people. Well, stick with what you know. Keep your circle tight if anything mm-hmm. we learned in this day. Oh, today is trust me. Keep that circle tight. Yeah. It's Power 1051, New York City, Bobby and R&B. So we're here for Trending Topics. Safari has agreed to do Trending Topics with me today. Oh, Safari, Safari. This is an interesting, yeah, that is an interesting story. So the weekend is a song, and he like insinuated that he was going to give Selena, his ex girlfriend, Selena Gomez, um, the, a kidney. I mean, she needed a kidney operation, mm-hmm. and so he kind of said in the song like he was going to give her the kidney. Would you ever give 
this is how I know how, how committed you would be to a relationship. Mm -hmm. Would you give someone a kidney? Of course. Would you really? Re don't just say, don't uh, not well, not just romantically, poetically. Like really, like I your was, kidney from your body removed. But I have another kidney, right? You have two. Ah, right, cool. Uh, you know, my ex counterpart that I spent a majority of my life to, I would have, I would, I would have. You would have gave Nikki a kidney. Yeah. That's a big deal. It I'd still be able to move. Well, I still have the V that I be wanting when I take the <laughs> pictures. You have a big ass scar, probably. I don't know. I don't know how the surgery yeah. works. I know, but I hear it's a very like intense. It's a very like uh, it's a hard surgery. Still would do it. Yeah. Really. Mm -hmm. You might get a hey big head message. <laughs> <laughs> you might get one of those. <laughs> Do you secretly want a hey big head message? I would love a hey cordial head. Excuse me? <laughs> a hey cordial head. What does that mean? Cordial. Or just like a check in, like a. Like, yo. You would like to have a cordial relationship at this point? Yes. Can you? Is that possible? Have you tried? You've tried. Not really. Well, then, how do you expect it to happen? She might need a friend like you right now. If she would have to trust you, though. She would have to trust that you were Hey, wasn't. you management. I'll let management. You want me to hit her? Yeah, I'll let management. <laughs> hit her? <laughs> you know, because I see you. I'm sorry going off topic, but because I, I see you going in the comments sometimes. You be in the comments. You a little flame emoji or something crazy. You You've be, done you it. You be out here lurking, Angie. Uh, yes, I see. I see shit. Okay. My point is, that's not going to do it. <laughs> 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 do you try to do it on a personal? Because probably, because wouldn't that be nice? That would be nice. Yeah, but you know, everybody's different. Yeah, but so then, why are you up in the comments? What you what you trying to do? I don't know what comments you talking about. It was probably like a catfish safari page. You sure? <laughs> I feel like there was something. There was something that, like she put a po and I could be making this up. Am I making this up? That she, she posted something and you put something under. You've been in her comments before. I'm I not can't, crazy. I'm blocked. We both blocked. How are we gonna be in each other's comments? Oh, you blocked each other. It was before that then. You never did this? You never did you this. You're probably talking about maybe you see something on the shade room or something like that. You know what I'm saying? It was um, Paper Magazine. Paper Magazine. Look, this guy pa pulled it there up. There it is. Oh, Paper show. Magazine. I knew I wasn't crazy. No. Don't do that. Don't do that, Safari. We got research in here. <laughs> you liked that picture. Yeah, it was nice, yeah. But you know she's going to see that. You know the shade room's going to be common creeping and seeing they're going to post that. You know what's going to happen there. What is the what is the goal? What is the end goal when you do that? Nothing. Mm-hmm. Management. No, you're not gonna just put the shit on me. I just met you. I'm new management. I'm trying to <laughs> I wasn't part of this. Well, management you gotta sort out the big like those type of moves. I think that would be nice if you could find some like peace. Anytime you have a long term relationship, you kinda peace. want I want peace in everything. That's why. Yeah. I just want peace. Like why would you want any turmoil or just any bad blood? It's that's just Mm -hmm. It's just not cool. I don't want beef with nobody. Look what beef with people do. Gets you set up. Mm. Gets you robbed. Do you think that's what happened? You gotta be. Like, who, it's not random. It's someone who know me, someone who's jealous, someone who see me growing up. They, they, they see I got all my stuff back. Because, you know, anyone who's paying attention to me before, they could tell I fell off. And look like, oh, he back on his feet. Just keep an eye on this guy. Hmm. And now what? We tighten up. Tighten up and go ten times harder. Yeah. Pause. Good for you. Pause. <laughs> it worked for you though. What? N never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> oh, how you caught me? <laughs> Uh, Goodbye, get out of my studio. My next guest is here. My next hey, guest. Hey, listen, is here. I just wanna say it was an honor. Growing up in New York, thank you thank for having you, my me. Love. Thank you so much. I would have never thought in a million years that I'd be sitting here with Angie with three bottles with no labels on them doing an We try not to give you. away free promotion, Safari. Yes. You understand that. Thank you.